pick them up. We're not running a kindergarten here. Go! Dylan here. Trevor? Trevor, Timmy's missing. You've got to help me. Oh, come on, Mrs. Chandler. You can come up with a more original uh, reason for calling me, can't you? I am not making this up. The school just called. They said Timmy didn't come back in from recess. He's gone. He's disappeared. You serious? I am serious. Of course I'm serious. I don't know where my son is. He may have been kidnapped. Just stay calm. Just stay calm. He's, he's probably perfectly safe. He's probably in some video arcade or something. What? Nally, Nally, what? Nally, just stay cool. We'll find your son. Please, I'll find Trevor. Timmy. Please. On the case. Don't worry. You just can't leave Trevor alone, can you? Madam, not now. My son is missing. There's an emergency and you call Trevor before your own husband? What are you suddenly 911? Don't be sarcastic. The police had to be notified. My son is missing. His life may be in danger. Then I'll call the police. Hello? Adam, it's Trevor Dillon. Timmy's safe. Where is he? He's, uh, sitting right here with me at headquarters. Uh, had a little problem he wanted to discuss. Well, Trevor, uh, Timothy's with you. Is he all right? Yes. Yes, the both. Uh, here he is. I'll let you talk to him. Hi, Mom. Sweetheart, are you all right? Sure I am. Oh, I was so worried. Sorry. Well, honey, that's right. You just sit tight. And you can tell me all about what happened when I come pick you up. No, don't. Trevor said he'd bring me home in a police car. He did? Yeah. Well, all, all right, then, then you go ahead and do that. I'm going to be waiting right here for you, okay? I love you, Timmy. Okay, Mom. Bye. Bye. I have never been so relieved. There are some papers here I really need you to sign right away. Oh, Adam. The sale of those power and light chairs. Adam, I couldn't possibly concentrate on reading right now. Sorry, darling, I know you're rattled right now, and I won't ask you to do anything else, but these really have to go in the mail right away. Why are there always so many papers I have to sign in yeah, a this rush? profitable little devils just keep turning more and more money over for us. I know, I'm turning them over quickly. Courage is flow, fine, I will sign. So he came in, told Murphy he wanted to see me, and that was it, pretty much. Well, sweetheart, why didn't you tell your teacher that you were leaving like that? Everyone was so worried. Sorry, it was something I had to do. It seems he's doing a play at school and the kids are teasing him about his costume. They said I looked wimpy. He's playing a cop. He came in to get something that would make him look a little more authentic. So Trevor gave me this. See, now I look like a real cop. Well, you sure do, but don't ever do that again, okay? Okay, give me a hug. Oh, you are the most precious thing in the whole world to me, sweetheart. Now, why don't you go on up Put on the rest of your costume and we'll make sure you're suited up prim and proper before we send you off. Yeah, you could get rigged up. You'll pass mustard, pal. Don't worry about it. Will you come and see me in the play, Trevor? Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. If I'm not in some uh, stakeout or something, I'll be there. Great. Good. Hey, don't forget your uh, whistle and your badge here, partner. Oh, yeah, thanks. See you later. Thanks. No problem. He's very fond of you. Boy, he's a great kid and he's got good taste. <laughs> well, he wouldn't have asked just anybody to see that play, you know. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Is Pop going? Uh, Adam has a conflict in schedule. Conflict? He has a meeting with his broker. Oh, his broker. Of course. Much more important than uh, supporting a kid who's got the heebie-jeebies at his first school play, huh? No, if everything works out right at headquarters, I'll be there, definitely. No, no, you won't. Say what? I don't want you going anywhere near that school or Timmy. Do you have a uh, comment on this, Mrs. Chandler? It would be better if you didn't go. You two have one screwed up marriage. Have a nice life, folks. Your old man. He's the worst. I bet he doesn't even have a heart. Daddy is not that bad, Trevor. He certainly isn't heartless. Wrong. I've seen the guy in action. He's changed a lot since the stroke. He probably doesn't have the energy to play the monster, but he's got it now. The guy is 
not nice not at all you know i wish you wouldn't say these things you don't even know him well i got news for you i wouldn't want to know him daddy daddy has a lot of love inside of him <laughs> for who certainly not for for his stepson after that big snow job he did on Natalie before the wedding, saying he was going to be like a father to Timmy, he won't even go to the kid's school play. You know why? Because he's playing with his money. No, correct me. It's Natalie's money. Lots of parents can't get away from their responsibilities to go to a school play. Yeah. Then they won't let me go, and I'm the kid's best friend. There's more to it than that, and you know it. No, Timmy and I are best buddies. It's plain and simple. That's how it is. I got every reason to go to that play. No, you don't. Not given your past history with Natalie. What's this? That, the, the history got to do with it. Nothing. In fact, as a result of that history, should, she should stand up for me going to the play with the kid instead. But no, she just wants to keep everything cool between her and hubby bubby. She's trying to make her marriage work. Fine. Let her make it work. But let the kid's life work, too. He deserves better. He deserves more than a, than a father who just wants to own him. That is an awful thing to say. It's the truth. Oh, come on, Sky, you remember how Adam screwed you up. He's going to do the same thing to T Timmy. He's going to turn him into a weak, whiny, needy little kid who's always looking for his father's love, and, and he can't get it because his father doesn't have time to care. You've got a point. Yeah, I do. So why don't you talk to him? Make him see what's going on here. Tell him to go easy on the kid. Let the kid have a life of his own. I told you I'd call you if I needed you. What are you doing here? I can't let this go on. What? I will not be compromised, nor will I allow you to continue to deceive Mrs. Chandler. There's no deception going on here. I'm not a fool, Chandler. You're taking your money and her property right off from under her. I resent that. My wife knows everything that's going on. <laughs> I doubt that very much. No, I, I will no longer prepare any documents transferring property. It's over. Adam, I'm on my way to take Timmy to school for the play. Are you sure you won't change your mind and come? Oh, darling, I really can't break away right now. Um, do you go, you go ahead, tell Timmy I wish him luck, all right? All right. Mrs. Chandler. Yes. Uh, you better go, darling. You're going to be late. Right, I, I will. Goodbye. Nice to see you, Harold. All right, Harold, no more stalling. I want you to write up a deed for this house and this estate, transferring ownership to me. Mrs. Chandler would never sign. She will sign. No. I'm not doing anything more for you, Chandler. I'm leaving. All right, suit yourself. I can always find a lawyer who will follow my instructions. Yes. I'm sure there's a lawyer out there who'll be as unethical as you wish. You want to talk about ethics to me? This property is rightfully mine. I'm the one that tripled her fortune. And by damn it, I'm going to take my share. 